hi welcome back to your new tutorial so i'm gonna show you this time how you can set the limits and other descriptions functions in your application suppose that here the maximum value is 70 and the minimum is 30 and suppose that if you want to set a limit of 35 and 65 how you can set that limit all right so for that uh, we need to create a limit here so let's create that limit uh, i think we can do that limit here all right so let's do that limit here so the first of all, of all we need to create a limit line so for that let's create first upper limit right so upper limit is equal to new limit line and in that let's set it as uh, 65 f that is the floating value and name it as a upper limit as you can say it's a danger oops right so let's set it danger and uh, now we need to set a few properties of upper limit such as uh, line width so set uh, line width uh, is equal to the 4f okay and uh, we can also set other properties of upper limit such as uh, uh, dash line so we can enable a dash line here uh, that you can say a 10f 10f uh, 10f and 5f or 0f you can say right so upper limit dot set label position so now we need to set our label position so label positions you can set it to a limit line dot limit label position dot right top great okay so now upper limit dot set text size and set it to 15f right okay so this is for upper limit and uh, we can also copy it and the paste it here and we can do same for our lower limit lower limit and let's set lower limit as uh, 35 and we can show it's too low right and uh, then we can set it to the right bottom uh, I think other things let's keep it as it is uh, we do not need to change anything now see here uh, what we need to do here is y axis so this is left y axis and this is right y axis so we are going to remove this or, or, uh, right y axis and we are going to get this left y axis and we will draw graph from this side uh, this uh, lower and the upper limit from that side so what we need to do here y axis is equal to uh, sorry we need to do here left axis so left axis equal to m chart dot get left axis miss left axis right axis left then we need left axis dot remove all limit lines which was earlier sets and then we need left axis dot add limit lines so the first of all that we are going to add upper limit and then again we are going to add our lower limit okay great now we are going to set some maximum also right so uh, left axis dot uh, uh, set uh, uh, axis minimum and the maximum so let's uh, set a maximum here 100 okay and also left axis dot set um, axis minimum uh, let's set it uh, 25 right 25 f okay and uh, now let's set a grid line right so what we can do left axis dot uh, enable grid dash line we can say enable grid dash line uh, with you can say the line length float means the space length between uh, and those uh, you know uh, dots and then phase so here we can give 10f and then again 10f and 0 right 
and let's set draw limit behind the data so we can simply do this left axis dot set draw limit line behind the data that is the true that means that the line would be drawn behind the data right so let's see it here wait for it now it will change see this is a fantastic see how it has changed here here is a danger 65 okay and here 3 uh, 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 30 to 25 is a lower limit and the 50 60 70 80 and the 100 i as i said that to you know upper limit uh, i think uh, we need to change here uh, to our lower lower limit we need to make some changes to that one uh, yes yes here uh, now make it to 10 and let's see now Uh, I think I did not get any changes here. Mm. Enable dash line, I think uh, it is uh, fine. I do not think uh, I have done any mistakes here. Let me see if I did anything wrong here, but I do not think. Uh, Okay, we will see that one uh, later. Uh, uh, apart from this, what we can do, uh, let us uh, disable this side off. Okay. So, we can do that very easily. What we can do? We can do left axis. Uh, sorry. Uh, we can do, oops, we can do m chart dot uh, get axis right dot uh, set enable and make it to false and let us run it. Once I run it, you can see this side has been gone completely, right? Okay, great. Now we are done with the limit things. Now let us take one more thing, uh, you know the, uh, suppose that uh, if you want to set here uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like you know suppose that uh, this is uh, uh, electricity consumptions of uh, uh, January, February, March, April, May and the June month. So what we need to do for that one? So we need to uh, set our x axis value right. So we can do that very easily. So for that here we need to set our axis value. So let us uh, a string create a string array of uh, values ok and uh, you can set it to the new and then a string right. So the first of all that make it to a gen and then make it to a fib and then make it March and then April and then May right and and uh, we need to also create a public class here okay so a public class of uh, oops my axis uh, what i can do my x axis value for meter that would implement i axis value for meter right so here we need a private uh, string array with uh, with m values right okay great so now we need here a public and then uh, i mean uh, a constructor right my x axis value for meter so, if we pass here a string array that would be stored into a value, it is local for this function, do not be confused with the other one and then this dot m value is equal to value, right. 
and now there is another override function so we can get the, the control and o and we need to type there get formatted value right perfect so for that one we need to return from here with m values right so the return m values uh, in the form of int right value okay so my axis value formatter class has been created now we can set our axis very easily right so what we need to do here mm. we need to create here our x axis right x axis is equal to m chart dot get x axis and then x axis dot set uh, set value formatter and in this i would like to create a new my x axis value formatter and i would pass their values right and then x axis dot set a uh, uh, set a uh, 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 granularity so we can set that granularity to 1f right now let's run it uh, somehow its a uh, chart is stopped uh, let me see what is the error you can see it here So the error games fail to forward no 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 oops let me start it again yes so the error came because of uh, you know the array index out of bond so that is the five now one two three four five somehow i have uh, uh, made some array out of bond so i think i need to remove this one one two two three four five and six if i one two three four five june okay right now let's uh, run it again Uh, again something is coming wrong here uh, it's again array bound is uh, get formatted value here so somehow array bound is uh, exceeding that's coming to the six uh, I think something is being wrong there. I have to see that. Uh, suppose that if I remove this, now let's see what will happen. Yes. Yeah, so that was the problem 1F. So I have removed that one. Now you can see here. February, March, April, May, May and the June uh, and I think I can add one more to here, uh, July, right, perfect, now let us see, uh, yes I have to set here the granularity to 1, not 1F, one I think I that was the problem here yes have march april may june and the july right now i think it's uh, very fantastic now let's uh, set this position upper and the lower so you can change that position also and that is also very easy to change you can 
change position here set axis dot set position x axis position dot both side right see here the position upper and lower side even you can set the bottom side and the upper sides whatever you want you can you know the do here so i am going to stop this tutorial here and i'll continue the simple line chart tutorial uh, into a next tutorial in that i'll show you how you can log the value of your touch on a mobile screen so thank you so much for watching this one you can subscribe this channel so that you can directly get update into your inbox okay bye bye have a nice day